Hello everyone and welcome back to my Unraid series. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Parity. So I'm going to be showing you how to set up Parity on your Unraid server. Uh, for those of you who do not know about Parity, it's a um, way to have some sort of redundancy in your Unraid server array. All right. So in this case, since we have a one terabyte hard drive currently installed on the array, if the drive were to fail, then all of our data that's on that one terabyte drive would be lost. Now, if once we add the uh, hard drive to our parity, okay, um, the data that is on the one terabyte drive will also be mirrored onto the parity drive. So this way, if we were to ever lose um, the one terabyte drive, if it should fail or ever need to be replaced, that data is being stored on the parity and would be emulated for uh, for access or use. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I am installing a six terabyte hard drive on the parity slot. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get that installed on the parity drive. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and then when I get back, um, We'll basically boot it up and I'll show you what it looks like uh, setting the parity drive up. All right, guys, see you in a bit. All right, everyone, and we're back. So I went ahead and uh, installed the six terabyte hard drive into the Unraid server. I went ahead and booted it up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and log in. And once you get logged in, it'll take you straight to the, uh, to the main. And what we're looking for is the parity drive so as of right now you can see that there's a one terabyte drive installed here uh, you'll also notice that there's an unassigned devices uh, there's a new hard drive listed and you can see here it's a six terabyte uh, hard drive from uh, western digital all right so let's go ahead and install this one we're going to set this one up again as the parity um, for my case we're only going to use one parity now as we begin to get more drives into the array uh, I'll start to think about setting up a second a secondary parity drive but for right now one parity drive should be more than plenty all right so let's go ahead and uh, hit start okay all right everyone so it looks like the array has started you can see that the parity drive is syncing up with the array um, this is going to take a good 11 to 12 hours to complete but once it completes it'll basically just go into normal operation this right here will turn green and all the data that's in the array should be safe now one thing to mention is on the parity drives you always want to make sure you have a equal or higher value amount of uh, data or data drive installed on the parity drive so so what that means is that since we have a one terabyte drive installed in the array uh, this can only be a one terabyte drive or higher okay now being that I've stuck a six terabyte drive in here and there's a one terabyte drive in the array yeah we're only gonna get one terabytes out of this but that's totally fine in my case I do plan on upgrading uh, or replacing the um, the current one terabyte that's currently in its place right now uh, I believe I have some drive errors that were that were sh that were popping up so I'm gonna go ahead and you know eventually upgrade this drive and it'll be a good video to show you guys on how to do that uh, successfully and, and easily all right but for now I think we're good to go uh, this is gonna run for another 11 to 12 hours uh, once it's completed then it, you know like i said this is going to turn green and everything's good to go all right guys well for now uh that's that's pretty much it uh be sure to like subscribe and comment um if there's anything else that i may have missed or you need some clarity or, or questions on uh or you may have questions on feel free to to leave those down in the comments um and until next time bye guys